Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris back here with you. I hope all is well. In this video, we are going to look at the restriction on a variable in a denominator in, uh, when our denominator is a quadratic expression. So we want to still find the, ex the excluded values for the expression. So the process is the same. We look at our denominator, take our denominator, set it equal to zero and solve. However, if it is in a quadratic uh, expression, then we either have to factor and solve or use the quadratic formula. Uh, do something to solve this, which hopefully all of these should be easy enough to factor. So factoring is not going away. Please remember to practice on your factoring. So we have v squared minus 4. That's the difference of uh, two perfect squares. That factors out to be a plus b times a minus b. So v squared minus 4 factors out to be v plus 2 times v minus 2. And then we have to take each factor, set them equal to 0, and solve. And this time we'll have two excluded values. So we set, separate those out, set them equal to 0, and then we solve each one of those equations. So subtract 2 from each side. and add 2 to each side for the other equation. So my excluded values, it says to separate them with commas or negative 2 and 2. So the process is the same except now you may have to use factoring to find your excluded values. Okay, let's look at another one. All right, so here we have t squared minus 5, t, or t over no, t minus 9 over t squared minus 5, t minus 36. Again, since we're only asked to find the excluded values, we only need to look at our denominator and find out what makes our denominator equal to 0. Because remember, anything divided by 0 is undefined. So those will be excluded values. So set your denominator equal to 0. fives are horrible I'm so sorry and it's not getting any better so all right and then factors so we need factors we have 1 times negative 36 so we need factors of negative 36 that will give us a sum of the middle term of negative 5 so we know that the absolute value of the larger number must be negative So 2 going to 36, 18 times, ne 2 plus negative 18 is negative 16, uh, 3 will go into 36, 12 times, 3 plus negative 12 is negative 9, 4 will go into 36, so 36 divided by 4 is 9, 4 plus negative 9 is negative 5, that's what we needed. So there are my two factors. And remember, since we have this understood one in front of t squared, we can use the shortcut. We don't have to use the full AC method. We split up the t squared into the first place of each parentheses, and then we sp split up the factors of negative 36, which are 4 and negative 9, positive 4 and negative 9, into the second places of the parentheses. Take, take each factor, set them equal to 0. Solve each one of the equations. So subtract 4. Add 9. So my excluded values are negative 4 and positive 9. Which means if I replace t in that expression with negative 4, my denominator will equal 0. Or if I replace t with a positive 9, my denominator will equal 0, which make those values um, excluded. So, so there we go. That's how you find those excluded values. You have to practice, practice, practice on that factoring. Alrighty. Hope you found this to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.